T-Posts are an excellent economical choice for supporting many wire fences. First, locate the property's boundary lines and contact the necessary agencies to come mark for any underground water, cable, electric, or gas lines. To install a T-Post, ensure the anchor plate is at the bottom of the post and perpendicular to the fence line. Make sure each of your posts have the studs facing in the same direction. Once the T-Post is in position, use the farm guard post driver to drive the post 18 to 24 inches into the ground, fully burying the anchor. While driving the posts, make sure they do not twist or turn as they enter the ground. Helpful tip. In order to set a straight fence line, it is best to set two corner posts of the fence and run a tight string between them. This will ensure your posts remain in a straight line as you install them. To attach welded wire fencing to the T-Posts, first unroll the fencing in the direction you want to go. For many applications, the wire fencing should be attached on the inside area of the T-Post. Starting at the end post, attach the welded wire to the T-Post using T-Post clips. Then, pull the fencing taut and attach it to the line post using additional T-Post clips. When the time comes, the easiest way to remove a T-Post is with the farm guard post puller. Set the post puller upright with the lever arm approximately waist high. Helpful tip. For best performance, the ground should be firm and flat. If it is not, it is recommended to use a scrap piece of plywood underneath the post puller to provide stability. Position the jaw around one of the T-Post studs. Push the lever arm down to loosen the post. Move the lever arm back to waist height and fit the jaw around another stud. Push down on the lever arm again and the post should come out of the ground. If it does not, repeat the process until the post comes free. And it's as easy as that. Installation and removal of T-Posts are made simple with the FarmGuard post driver and post puller.